Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video on this ridiculously sunny day here in the southwest of England. We're in a heat wave, everything is very hot, the crickets are loving it, I should probably be inside under the shade, but I got too excited, I had to come outside and film this video for you. So today we're talking tents, specifically we're going to be reviewing the Hilleberg NN versus the Hilleberg Acto. So I'm a long-term Acto user, so this guy's probably got about 4,000 miles on the clock with me, about four years, three years, um, and the Hilleberg NNs came into my life about seven months ago, and probably got about 400 miles uh, with me so far this year so I thought I'd have a chat about some of the similarities and the differences between these tents and just sort of how I've got on with each of them. Now I will just say right from the word go if you're interested in detailed breakdowns of each tent then you know pitching times and all the specification stuff then check out each individual review of the tent so I have got uh, the Hilleberg's got a few actually I think there's three reviews of my Hilleberg um, and then the, the NN has just got the one the single review and I'll review it at the end of the year and we'll just keep going like that like how am I getting on with them. Um, but let's get started. So some similarities right from the word go. Obviously they're both Hilleberg tents, they're both backpacking tents, they're both sort of just about in the lightweight category. They're both outer pitch first with the inner which you can attach inside and they're both tunnel design. So we'll definitely get them pitched up, we'll get some stuff in them, you can see how everything fits. They're very similar in terms of the inside space but the outside fabrics as we'll see are slightly different. So weight wise your Enon is heavier than your Sorry, your Acto is heavier than your N, and this is going to get confusing, isn't it? So your Acto weighs in at just under 1.8 kilograms pack weight, and then your N is 1.2 kilograms. So there's quite a significant difference there, and you'll see how they've managed to cut that weight down in a moment. Now, pack weight basically means everything you get in the pack. So it's the fabric of the outer bag, it's the actual tent itself, it's the poles, and it's the pegs. Um, so what I think we'll do right now is we'll just get the kit out of each of bag, each bag, and we'll look at the different fabrics. We'll look at the pegs and the poles and the differences there. And and then we'll get the tents pitched up, get some stuff inside and move the discussion on from there. Here we go then. So here's the content of each of the bags. So we've got the bags themselves. Now the NN is a lot smaller and lighter than the Acto. You can see it sort of scrunches up to fit in my hand quite easily. I can close my wrist around that. And then you've got the Actin, Acto here, which is just a little bit bulkier, just about fit that in my hands. Uh, and basically, that is a very scientific measurement, by the way. Um, <laughs> basically, these guys are made of the same fabric as the outer fabric of each of the tents. So we've got the Acto is made of Kerlon 1200. So it's a slightly denser weave. It's more robust, more durable. Not as durable and robust as some tent fabrics out there, um, but it's, you know, it's denser in comparison to the Enon. So this is Kerlon 1000, so it's a lot thinner weave. It's a lot lighter. It literally is like, I mean, this is lighter than a plastic bag. It's ridiculous. Um, this feel, I mean, this feels more plasticky than this, to be honest. Um, not that that's necessary, even, you know, super scientific either. They're both obviously waterproof uh, and that's sort of just, that's, that's the bag anyway. You've got the logo on there. So they're, they're sort of very similar, slightly different in shape, but they're made of the outer fabrics of the tents. So let's have a look at poles. So you come, so each of the pack comes with a pole sleeve. So you can see the Acto is slightly bigger than the Enon. And the funny thing is, is basically the poles are exactly the same. So you've got these DAC Featherlight poles here. Um, the, they both come with a repair kit. I don't have one for the Acto anymore because I actually had to use it. I find that whilst these poles are very light, they are quite fragile. Um, they bend quite easily. So you've got a tensioning point on each of the tents and we'll have a look at that. Um, and basically, I've tensioned them so much and then the wind comes in that they, you know, they crack around the edges and they do bend. Um, so you just gotta sort of be careful with those. But the poles are exactly the same. So there's no sort of pros or cons with, with either of those tents if you're looking for a specific pole. Um, and then obviously, as I said, there's a tent repair kit with each of those as well. Exactly the same repair kit. Now the pegs are different. So again, these, this, uh, these bag fabrics are made of the same fabric as the ground sheet of each of the tents. So you can see that the Acto is bigger than the Enon, which is funny because the pe tent pegs are about the same size. So you could swap the bags over, use a plastic bag, something else. Um, let's have a look at the Acto pegs first of all. So these are your sort of DAC classic um, V-shaped pegs. They've not got any Heliberg branding on them. They've got a piece of guy line attached to the top so you can pull them out of the ground quite easily and they go into the ground very well as well. Um, these are really sturdy pieces of kits. Uh, you know, I've, that, as I say, thousands of miles on these pegs. Really, really impressed with them. Um, they're just, they're super quality. And you know, they're not, they're not very heavy. But then you look at the Enon, and the Enon takes it up a notch. It makes even lighter tent pegs. You've got these sort of windmill shaped pegs, this sort of husky 
uh, gold color Hilleberg branding again piece of guy line on the end there so you can pull them out and I find that these don't go into the ground as easily as the uh, acto pens uh, acto what the flip acto tent pegs <laughs> um, but they are even lighter than the v-shaped ones which is ridiculous so I guess that's another way that they've managed to shave some weight off of the tent there so that's the differences in the pegs themselves so let's just get to the actual tents themselves so we've already sort of had a conversation about the difference in fabrics but essentially the Enon is a lot more fragile and the fabrics are thinner they're lighter they're more delicate than the acto the acto is a little bit more robust and i guess that's just another thing that gives it that sort of four season uh, factoring as opposed to the three season of the enon so you can see the outer fabric of the um the acto we've already talked about that carillon 1200 is i mean it, you can just about it's just about see-through but you know it is a lot thicker weave than this thinner carillon uh, 1000 on the enon and then the ground sheet of the acto is a lot thicker and more robust than the enon but the enon is still suffice it's still very good uh, and then the inner fabrics of each of the tent they're both yellow um, but the <laughs> It's so weird. I, the, the feeling of the Enon, I just find bizarre. It's almost like skin is so thin and delicate. It, feel, it feels like a flower petal, something like that. Um, not quite as waxy, but then the, the, act, the Acto actually feels like, I don't know, like cottony, even though it's not cotton, but you know what I mean? Probably not, I don't know. <laughs> um, so I think basically the next thing to do is I'll just get these tents pitched up. I'm not too worried about showing you how they pitch. We'll have a chat about that once they're up. We'll get some stuff inside and then you can see the difference uh, between these three season and four season Acto and Enon tents. Let's get to it. <laughs> So here we go, we've got a nice wide angle view of both of the tents. So we've got the Acto and we've got the Enon. So straight away we can see the difference in the colours. So the Enon is a much smoother, uh, thinner fabric. It's darker green and the Acto is a slightly lighter green. Bearing in mind this has got several thousand miles on it. You can see how sort of snagged it is, how cut up it is. Um, but it's been strong against all the brambles and things that it might have got caught on. Um, I have looked after this tent very, very hard actually. Um, and this one's probably got about 400 miles on it at the moment so far this year. So it's looking still quite shiny to be honest. Look at it, shiny, <laughs> not shiny. <laughs> um, so you can see as well, if I stand here, the weird shape of this is like a wonky dome and that's because the poles do bend. Um, that was a quite a big storm and they bent. They just stayed like that. So that one's still shaped as it should. Um, there should be sort of the same shape, but this one's like flatter and wider now. Um, as for, uh, logo you can see logo either end of the acto and the edge and then the end in we've got just on the side there on the edge and then there's a logo underneath here look you see that on the end just about maybe there you go not that the logo will be a buying point necessarily um as for pegging points then we have got one two three four either end of the acto so five six seven eight nine ten so either side as well and then the nn has two less pegs so it's one two three four five six seven eight so it's the eight sort of pegging points so really nice and simple basic pegging for this one is four pegs so literally just the two man there's like an air show going on it's like constant helicopter <laughs> oh that's a plane i don't know the difference well i do but never mind anyway coming back to the tents let's just wait for him to go past <laughs> Anyway, back to the tents, sorry about that. Um, so basic pe tent pegging with this one is four pegs. It's one, two, three, four. But I don't, I've never done that. I don't see how that would work because that would sag in, that would sag, it just doesn't work. Um, and then they say basic because for this is six. So I guess it would be without the two side ones. But since I'm carrying all the pegs, I just kind of use them. There's no point not to. Um, so that's kind of the outer. There's nothing really else to talk about with that. Obviously that's got the obvious rain flap thing here so you can see the idea is to unzip well we have a look when we're inside but to unzip that and unzip that and i love this feature i really 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 miss this on this one when i got it i didn't even realize how much i would miss it but that is a real i love that because very few tents have that and it is just game changing it means you can see out and it can rain but you're inside and it's great um anyway let's get inside of this one so what i've done is put some stuff inside there's stinging nettles everywhere here my legs are shredded go away Sorry, plant. Um, so we've got this piece of flab plastic here so we can unzip, that protects the zip from the rain on this one. And then they've got the same sort of toggle point. So you roll up the uh, door just like normal. I can't do this one handed. And then you've got a piece of elastic. Ooh, maybe I can do it one handed. Piece of elastic, look at this. And it goes around the toggle like so. 
Oh, mate, that is a new, that's going on my CV. There you go. So that's how you get the door out of the way, sort of. Um, so straight away, access to the porch. So I've put in, if you've watched a review of the Enon, this is the same setup as I showed in there. It's a little jet boy. You can have your cooking, your food stuff there. Got my um, Offspray Exos 48, which I carry everywhere on the trail. And then the door. So this is the next sort of main difference between this tent and the Acto. So the door here is completely mesh. Um, that's it, it's just completely mesh. And then if we come over to the Acto, so I'm gonna do this bit by bit. Um, so I don't know if I can roll this one up one-handed as well. I might just do that quickly, one second. Cool, so that's rolled up and we can see the porch. So they're very, very similar sized. Uh, obviously porch of the NN, porch of the Acto. Uh, this is a little bit sort of wonky. There's so much grass here, so just gonna have to work with this. But next difference is obviously the door. So where's the mesh? There's just a little bit there. Um, the rest of it is, is fabric, same as the fabric is the inner, but you can see yellow and yellow. That's definitely a thinner fabric than the Acto. Um, but let's get, so we can see you've got three zips here as well. There's only two on the other one. So you've got all sorts of crazy options. And then that'll take us inside, which is really raised up because of the grass. So we're in the Acto now. We're just, it's all a bit scatty. It's not pitched super tight either because of the grass, but essentially it's very, very spacious, a uh, really strong ground sheet here. And then we have pocket here. So there's just the one pocket at the end. Um, so that's the next difference. And we'll go back to the Enon. This is fun, getting my step count up, isn't it? So we'll unzip the mesh door here, which just has the two zips, so one either end. So we'll unzip this. Just gonna, it's not very good to do that, but I'm gonna do it. There we go. And we can see the pockets in this one are there. So there, there's two pockets, which is actually quite helpful. Uh, and that means it's accessible. And basically I've just set this up. So we'll have a look at this in a minute in the Acto, but it's essentially pretty much the same size. Um, so sleeping bag, I've got my Thermarest X Lite here and it's just how it fits. So if you're interested in actually the real spacing of these tents, then definitely check out each individual review. But you can see you've got plenty of storage space there and the same absolutely in the Acto. So as far as inners go, uh, they're very, very similar. Here's the Acto now, just with the same stuff inside. So you can see it's pretty much the same space, obviously kind of badly pitched on the really thick grass there, but you get a feel for what it looks like. Um, so that's sort of what the inners like. The pretty much the main difference is just the pockets where they are and the thickness of the ground sheet and the fabrics around you. Um, so there are some main differences as well. I forgot to mention with the, the outer um, stuff. So first up is guy lines. So the guy lines on the Enon are much, much thinner. Um, we can see here just how sort of thin these guys are. Um, and they're probably half as thin, at least 50% as thin. <laughs> Or thinner than these guys so the actos these are much thicker they sort of feel a bit more like rope um, they're the same sort of build but these guys are just much more thicker much more robust so that's the guy lines and then of course on the um, ends of the acto as you will have seen if you've seen the acto review let's just um, show you here so what you've got is basically a zip it's this weird sort of zip feature so you can zip up or unzip this vent it's not even a vent it's just basically a hole in the tent and then that's the inner there um, so you've got that either end and if it snows that gets full of snow and it's kind of annoying um, but this is a four season tent and this is a three season tent which is something to note actually um, but then the end of the Enons is just mesh so you've got this one pole here to sort of keep it out keep it tight and that is just mesh so at least there is a bit of protection there um, but I guess what makes that a four season tent is obviously the robustness of the fabric and uh, the fact that you can do that up completely to get protection from any gusts and stuff like that. So here we are, the sun has come out. It is way too hot to be in a tent anyway, so I'm just sat here in between them. Um, we're just going to conclude this video, basically. We've got the Acto, we got the Enon, we got a four season tent, we got a three season tent, we got a robust fabric, we got a flimsy, delicate fabric. We have got um, a heavier tent, we've got a lighter tent. I don't know which one's the right one for you, only you know that. But there's one last thing we haven't really mentioned and that is the price, that separates these tents off. I mean, let's be honest, they're both in the higher end of the price tag tent world. Uh, the um, Enon retails at 585 pounds. It's pricey, it's expensive. The Enon takes it up a notch. The Enon retails at 640 pounds. That's a very expensive tent, let's just be real here. But is it worth it? Only you know that. Don't forget, you can always shop around, get things cheaper, do your price matching. You don't necessarily have to pay the full retail price. Maybe go secondhand, they might be around, who knows? But I think most people that use these tents love these tents. But if you are interested in the individual specs 
and features of the tents then please do check out the reviews individually of each of the tents they're in the description below and i think i can put some tag thing up here i don't know if it's up there then i did it if it's not then i'm not very good at this <laughs> uh, but definitely check those out thank you guys for watching if you've got any comments any feedback anything you think that i've missed which is possible um but then please leave it in the description below let me know let's keep this a happy positive space spend more time in the world it's all about getting people outside for mental and physical health so we like to keep it positive and constructive so definitely check that out but guys thank you so much for watching thank you for your time enjoy your adventures and you know what we say stay wild <laughs> Woo! <laughs>